Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to come on here and share some of the new fragrances that Victoria has added to her website. I think she now has like over 800 fragrances, like no joke. So for those of you guys who are fans of Candles by Victoria and for some miraculous reason you've run out of scents to try, I have some new ones to share with you. I also wanted to let you guys know about the sale that she's having and I have my notes here so that I don't mess anything up. Um, it's going to start June 1st at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time and it's going to go until June 3rd at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So this is good because you guys have a few more days to kind of plan your order and place your order instead of just having one day to do that. So you guys can start planning now and then place your order within the next couple days. And the sale is going to be orders up to $25. You're going to get 10% off and if you order between $25 and $50, you're going to get 15% off and then orders over $50 will get you 20% off and you don't need a code. The cart will automatically calculate your discount based on what you have in the cart at that time. I so have, I think 27 different fragrances that I'm going to be talking about today and I'm going to go pretty quickly because like I said there's quite a few and even if I spent a minute on every single fragrance we'd be here for at least 27 minutes not to count this little intro that I have. So I'm just going to go really quickly. It's not going to be as in-depth as some of my other Candles by Victoria videos but I'll just let you know which ones I like and kind of a brief description of each one. You guys can probably see little PJ sleeping in the background so don't mind him. He's just snoozing away back there but um, I'm gonna start with her luxury spa fragrances and I was really really excited about these I love spa scents I just find them to be really relaxing very tranquil and peaceful smelling and they're usually the ones that I can't really pinpoint exactly like what fragrance is in there I just know that it just makes me feel really calm so I'm gonna start with those and the first one I have here is bamboo and grated ginger now I typically don't like ginger in my food, but I do like things that have the ginger fragrance in them. And this one's no exception. It just smells really clean, kind of green and crisp, but it also has a little bit of that musk in there and this is just just really really nice. It would be a great perfume too, I think. This next one is Cloverfields and Aloe and she describes this as the essence of a rolling meadow and summer mornings. This watery green floral fragrance of green clover is mingled with top notes of bergamot and aloe. And I like that she call that she says it's a watery green floral because that's exactly how I would describe it. Like, it just smells really fresh, but also has like just that like refreshing kind of like water aspect to it. This one is Forget Me Not, which is a floral scent, and it definitely is a floral. But it also has like hints of grassiness to it as well. So it just smells like a really fresh like floral bouquet but it's not like overly floral. This one is white sage and this one definitely has a little bit of an herbiness to it. I mean there's sage in it but it also has kind of like a clean kind of soapy quality to it. It's a fresh bright herbal with a soft sweet dry down certainly not reminiscent of turkey stuffing simply incredible. This next one I was really excited about when I saw it. It's Suma and it does. It smells very similar to if you've ever smelled the Body Shop's Suma fragrance. It smells very much like that. And I love it. I just love like citrusy, like orange, really fresh, happy type scents. And this one is definitely a really, really good one. I cannot wait to melt this. This one is Badetas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It could be Badetas. I, I really don't know. But... This one just smells like spa water. Like, I feel like if you were to go to a spa and, like, take a bath with, like, flowers and stuff like that, this is what it would smell like. It is a bracing blend of clean from European spas. Badetas is a classic blend reserved for body washes in the spas of Germany, France, and Belgium. This scent is an upscale blend of fresh, invigorating leafy greens and florals, basil, citrus, amber, and musk. A brilliant, invigorating, and sparkling scent that will make you feel romantic throughout the evening. This next one is just a really pretty fragrance. This is Shangri-La, not to mention it's just a really pretty color as well. And this one's definitely a floral, but it has kind of like a creamy sweetness to it as well. It's not um, too overpowering, but it is definitely sweet. Um, this is a lovely blend of fresh lavender petals infused with soft coconut milk. It's enchanting, relaxing, calming, inviting, and a bit sexy. If you've decided you don't like lavender, you may want to reconsider and give this one a try. And I would have to agree because, like I said, it is floral, but at the same time, it doesn't jump out to me like lavender. 
This next one sounded really interesting when I read the name because I was like, I wonder what this is going to smell like. It's sea salt and rice flowers, and I don't know what rice flowers are. I'm assuming it's the flowers that grow on rice, but I've, I've never smelled it, so I don't know. But this one's just a really light, very delicate scent. I... I do really like this one a lot. This fragrance has notes of creamy rice flowers, citrus peel, cotton blossoms, night blooming jasmine, azure sky, ozone, gray sea salt, bamboo leaves, vanilla bean, and sheer musk. Powerful and soft sea salt and rice flower helps promote relaxation and rejuvenation with its unique aroma. This one is Japanese pear and ginseng, and this one definitely has kind of that effervescent fizzy type scent to it. it has a lot of like Kind of a green scent, but also citrusy at the same time. Almost like an earthy 7-Up. This next one is Bora Bora, and it does smell very, very tropical. I think the first fragrance that I smell in this is definitely pineapple. Um, this one's really nice if you like fruity scents. It's definitely a great mix of different types of just amazing fruitiness. This one's really pretty. It's green tea and willow. And this, I think, would make a great fragrance or like a body lotion or something. It smells green, leafy, and earthy, but at the same time, it has a bit of like a floral cleanness to it. So those were the luxury spa fragrances. I know I, my descriptions weren't the greatest. They're, they're definitely more complex scents, but I think they are all fantastic. If you're looking for something just really relaxing and just really pretty, I think you'll definitely like it. So next, I have her bakery fragrances, and the first one is Serendipity, and... The first fragrance I get in this is coconut, which is surprising because there's actually cherry and almond in here, and normally those two scents are very strong and usually come out in the front, but I can definitely smell coconut, but it's not too overpowering and strong. It just adds like a nice kind of creaminess to the scent, but also you can definitely smell the cherry and the almond in it too. This one is sugared shortbread, and just like the name would suggest, it's a sweet kind of bakery like pound cake vanilla type scent it's really nice next I have turtle cheesecake and this is supposed to have chocolate caramel and a cheesecake fragrance and you can definitely smell the chocolate but it's not too strong it doesn't smell like that fake chocolate that I'm not a fan of uh, which is good and it definitely has kind of a sweet creaminess to it but I wouldn't automatically say that this reminds me of a chocolate turtle cheesecake maybe when it's burning um, the cheesecake scent will come out more but um, at first sniff it definitely has kind of like a sweet light chocolate scent this next one is strawberry white cake and this one smells a lot like these strawberry snow creams that I get here it's really really good it just tastes like um, creamy strawberries and that's what it smells like this one is pizzelle which i think is one of those like really thin kind of like waffle cookies and this definitely has a bakery scent to it wow and this one's like oozing with with oils super strong definitely has like that bakery vanilla scent but it also has just a tad bit of like a lemony zest to it this one is french toast and as you would assume it smells Kind of maple syrupy, kind of cinnamony. If you like French toast, you'll probably really enjoy this. This one sounds really interesting. Nectarine Plum Oatmeal Strudel. This one I get a lot of like an orange juice type smell. It smells like there's like fresh squeezed orange juice in this. This one kind of reminds me of her, I think it's pouring pot scent because it has that kind of like oatmeal-y and orangey scent. This one is pumpkin white chocolate and there's definitely a chocolate note in this. I wouldn't say it smells like white chocolate to me. But it definitely has like a chocolatiness, kind of a, an orangey scent to it too. You know what it kind of reminds me of? If you've ever smelled Lush's um, Therapy Massage Bar, it kind of reminds me of that because it has that like kind of chocolate orange smell. But at the same time, this one has a little bit of a spice to it. Raspberry Coconut Muffin. I love her raspberry scents and this one is definitely nice. It's not as sweet or as tart because there is that coconut in there. It kind of reminds me of like the raspberry mamba. I haven't had those in a while, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. This one is blackberry caramel rice pudding, and that just sounds like something I would love to eat because I love blackberries. And this one definitely, the first note is blackberry for sure. It smells like a sweet, creamy blackberry, and I'm hoping that when I melt this, I'll get more caramel because I do really love um, Victoria's caramel scents. So that was it for her bakery fragrances. Now I have two coffee fragrances, and for those of you who love your coffee, I think you'll really enjoy these. I personally don't really like the scent of coffee. Like, I love, like, fresh coffee when it's brewing. It just smells really good, but I don't really like coffee-scented things. Um, but the first one is Caramel Macchiato, which is one of my favorite coffee drinks. I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but if I do go to Starbucks, I normally always get a Caramel Macchiato, whether it's iced or hot. 
And this one's nice. The coffee fragrance in this is not too strong. Like a real caramel macchiato, it's not very coffee-like. It's definitely sweet and creamy. I have wax on my nose. But it's not as sweet as I would expect because it has caramel in it. But I'm thinking that when this melts, the caramel notes will come out. Like I mentioned, I love her caramel fragrances. So if this smells more like caramel when it's melting, I'll be very, very happy. This one sounds really interesting to me because I never thought to put like fruit with coffee. I don't know why, but this is Razzmatazz Hazelnut Coffee, and this one you can definitely smell the hazelnut. It just has that really nice kind of rich, nutty scent along with a little bit of coffee, but it's not too strong. So I really like that actually, and then it has just a hint of like raspberry to it. It's not too overpowering or too strong. It's nice. It's a nice combination. I surprisingly like this. So next I have three of her more earthy fragrances and the first one I have is Ylang Ylang. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be completely wrong. Um, I'm just going to read the description. It says originating in the Philippines, which I think is pretty cool because I originated from the Philippines. Um, Ylang Ylang means flower of flowers. It can also mean fragrance of all fragrances. It says this fragrance is traditionally used in aromatherapy to sharpen the senses and to temper depression, fear, anger, and jealousy for these reasons and also because of its reputation as an aphrodisiac. The flowers are spread on the beds of the newly married in Indonesia. The fragrance is heady, floral, and slightly spicy with a narcissus or banana-like overtone. Next is peppercorn and this one is definitely kind of a spicy scent, but it's not like cinnamon spicy. It's a little bit different. Um, this one almost smells cologne too. I like it, but it's definitely very, very strong. This one is raspberry tomato leaf, and I don't really know um, what tomato leaves smell like, but this one is definitely very green smelling. It smells kind of very grassy almost, but it does have a little bit of raspberry in the background. The raspberry isn't the first scent that I smell. I definitely smell a lot of like that greenery. And the last one that I have is one of her perfume cologne fragrances, and this one is Fantasy Type, which is supposed to smell like Britney Spears' Fantasy, and I honestly don't know if I've ever smelled that myself. Kind of a florally, vanilla, slightly fruity scent. And that's it. I'm done. Those are all the new fragrances that Victoria has added to her website. They are already on there. And if you want to take advantage of the sale, definitely do so within the next couple days. Um, I'm sorry I kind of rushed through this a little bit. But I hope you understand there were quite a few fragrances. And now I'm starving and I should really get back to packing. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.